All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in a Centerell. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be a Twin Flames reading. So let's find out what's going on within the collective. Keep in mind, and I really wanna say this again, I go a while without saying it, but then I see the comments pop up and I just have to remind people that these are general readings, okay? You're, you're free to book a personal reading that will be about you and your person only. But the readings that I put up on here are just general readings and they're not a continuation. So if yesterday's reading resonated with you, today's might not because I could be picking up on someone else's energy. So just keep that in mind, okay? So if it doesn't resonate or if you get angry at the reading, it, it might not be your reading, right? Um, all of my readings are timeless though, so if you go back to some of the old ones, um, those might also resonate with you. Okay, just be, just make sure to use your own intuition when you're listening to either my readings or anyone else, any other reader. Okay, if you guys want to book something personal, as always, my information is down below. I have guided meditations, online courses, and the Anxiety Relief Crystal Set. I'll post a photo somewhere up on there, but all of that's also available on my website. Okay, so let's take a look. So let's start off with the Divine Masculine. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? Whoa, too many. Let's go on the Divine Masculine at this time. Okay, we have the Fall card. This is my Depression card in this deck. Okay, Divine Masculines could be going through a period of depression or just kind of a low point right now. Divine Feminines, let's take a look. We have Ascending. Okay, so Divine Feminines are going through this Ascension process. They are Ascending, seeing things from a higher perspective. Okay, so let's take a closer look right now. All right, so what's going on with the Divine Masculine at this time? Why do we have Fall here? What's going on with the Divine Masculine? We have the King of Pentacles. A lot of them are very focused on their money right now, but they're having some doubts. So we have Strength in Reverse with the King of Pentacles. So they're not feeling as um, maybe confident in their financial situation that could be what's causing this sort of lower energy or maybe depression a lot of them i feel like are trying to dig themselves out so they could be very focused on money right now to try to dig, dig themselves out of this sort of low energy but for a lot of them i feel like a lot of the doubts that they're having right now has to do with money and finances but this is where most of their focus is right now okay so with the divine feminine the ascension card here let's see what's going on we have the lovers in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is an interesting energy. I feel like for those of you who are dealing with a connection where you're not in sync with your Divine Masculine right now, maybe you're not with them, or if you are with them, maybe you're just not in sync with them right now with the lovers coming through in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, it's almost like this lack of connection um, with your Divine Masculine and maybe a lack of commitment is propelling you to ascend. It's propelling you to maybe go within and to see things from a higher perspective right now. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm just going to push this up a little bit and we'll take a look at feelings. So let's take a look at Divine Masculine's feelings towards the feminine currently. So how is the Divine Masculine currently feeling regarding the Divine Feminine? How does the Divine Masculine currently feel? Wow, they're feeling very weighed down by this right now. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. They're indecisive. <clears throat> and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow, there's a heavy exhausted energy here from the Divine Masculine in regards to the Divine Feminine. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands both in reverse. So there's this energy of heaviness that they're feeling. There's a sense of exhaustion. I feel like a lot of them have been sort of stuck in this two of swords energy. I know that a lot of you guys get frustrated with this because <laughs> I see it in the comments. The two of swords is an energy of indecision. It's an energy of crossroads. It's an energy of not never knowing what you want. Um, and it does seem to be that oftentimes when we do the twin flame readings that the masculine is in that energy, okay? So I do see that coming through here. We have the seven of swords in reverse. So there is this energy of wanting to change their ways though, okay? So the seven of swords can be someone who's sort of sneaky, tries to get away with things. In reverse, this could be someone who is wanting to change their ways. This could be someone who's maturing um, and wanting to get out of this energy. But there is still this like heavy, heavy indecision when it comes to the feminine. Let's take a look. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah, so a lot of them, okay, so 
a lot of them don't want to miss an opportunity with you. Maybe some of them already have missed an opportunity with you with the Four of Cups in reverse. But this indecision does look at this. We have the King of Pentacles coming through again. Okay, two messages here. For some of them, like if you're not already with your Divine Masculine, then they're indecisive about whether or not they want to commit to you, uh, but they also don't want to miss an opportunity with you. So they're kind of back and forth. The other thing I'm getting is, um, this, has, this might have to do with money. So a lot of their indecision about the feminine could do, could do with the fact that they are very focused on their money right now. Like this is where most of their time and energy is going. Some of them are struggling financially. So that's affecting their ability to make a clear decision about the feminine. Okay, so I'm getting two messages here. So just take it how it resonates for you. Because keep in mind, this is a very general reading. Okay, but there does seem to be this like heaviness that they're feeling. <laughs> um, regarding the feminine right now. Let's take a look. How does the divine masculine feel? Yeah, they're re they're closed off right now, guys. Okay, they're feeling very resistant to this connection. Some of them I'm hearing maybe have pushed you away or are very closed off towards you right now. Okay, and I think it has to do with this like heaviness. For some reason, they're feeling this heaviness regarding the connection. I don't know if you guys have put some sort of a pressure on them. We do have the Ten of Wands. Sometimes that can indicate like a pressure. Um, not all of you, um, but for some of you, if you put some sort of pressure towards your Divine Masculine, they are now feeling this resistant energy towards you. Like, let's clarify. Why is resistant here? Yeah, Justice in Reverse. There's something about balance. I did just see the Six of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is resistant here? The emperor they're very they're very closed off guys i don't see them in this energy of being able to like be fair with you right now you know the justice card in reverse is like being unfair so i don't see the this fair energy i see them yeah even the emperor i mean look at this like this combination here the emperor and the resistant card this is someone who's very 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 closed off right now let's take a look at this ten of wands energy Oh, they're heartbroken. They're, they're still heartbroken over this. So whether you know this or not, um, it's like your divine masculine is heartbroken over something that occurred between the two of you. And they this is still weighing on them. Like this is still affecting them. Um, Ten of wands, nine of wands. There's a heaviness. There's a heaviness. There's a heavy energy here of heartbreak. And because of that, I see that they're very close. I don't see them wanting to open up to you. And I feel like they're not wanting to open up because they don't want to, they don't want to feel this heartbreak or it's like they're not wanting to um, have to deal with these emotions right now. It's like when they think about the connection or when they like um, start putting their energy towards the connection, it just feels like a heavy weight for them currently. So that's why I do feel like a lot of them are very heavily focused on their money or their finances but even that i'm hearing isn't going well for them that's why i think we have this depression energy for the divine masculine because i feel like they're kind of going through a lot right now okay let's take a look at your energy okay so what's the divine feminine's energy towards the divine masculine at this time and then at the end we'll pull some messages from them okay as so i have the deck out here so let's see. So the Divine Feminine's energy towards the masculine currently. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, yeah, okay, commitment. Because we even have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. We have the Emperor coming through again. The Six of Wands. So there's a lot of pride and ego for the feminines right now. A lot of you, yeah, look at that. You even see the Strength card again. Um, it's in reverse as well. But I'm seeing here like Strength, Emperor, Six of Wands. This is all ego. This is all pride and ego. So a lot of you, because of whatever has happened between the two of you, you're sort of in this, I feel like both of you are in this self-protection mode, but also very ego, like a lot of ego coming through here. So just be aware of that. I do think you guys are wanting something stable. We do have the Ace of Pentacles or wanting like a new beginning or some form of commitment, but you're feeling like there's this lack of stability here with the Four of Wands in reverse. I don't get a lot of stability. Again, that's what I'm getting here as well. Like there's definitely a huge disconnect when it comes to the situation, a lack of commitment. You could still be wanting a commitment, but aware that there's this lack thereof. Okay, um, let's pull a mixed emotion for you. Let's see, how 
that is the divine feminine feel. That was my masculine to the heart. You guys are feeling powerless right now. Okay, let's take a look at as to why. Okay, so it says paralyzed, ineffective, weak. So let's see, why is the divine feminine feeling powerless? The star. This is all a part of your ascension. Yeah, it's see, okay, this all goes hand in hand with what I was saying earlier. So when it comes to this connection, a lot of you have been wanting this commitment that you haven't been getting from your divine masculine, okay? Powerless with the um, or with the hierophant in reverse. So this lack of commitment has left you feeling powerless. However, this is all a part of your ascension. This is all supposed to be happening because um, it's almost like it's teaching you that this commitment that you're looking for externally is something that you need to find within yourself. It's like you finding that inner commitment to you. That's the process. Like That's what you're learning through this um, outer reflection of not getting what you want in this situation, feeling disconnected, feeling like there's a lack of commitment. It's because it's leading you to this ascension, right? Because ultimately our ascension is about coming into wholeness with ourselves. And so it's about not necessarily needing anything externally. But then when you don't need anything externally, that's when it comes to you. So for a lot of you, Divine Feminines, if you are feeling or have been feeling powerless because your Divine Masculine hasn't been committing to you, keep in mind that this is supposed to be happening right now. You're supposed to be going through this because this is a part of your ascension. Okay, with the star and obviously the ascension card coming through. Okay, so let's take a look. Over the next few weeks, where is this heading? And then I'll pull some messages from your divine map. Okay, so... Where is this heading? Yeah, the Ten of Swords, guys. We have the Ten of Air coming through here. So I see an ending. Um, I don't... I know you guys are probably going to be very upset with this reading. Keep in mind, I'm just pulling the energy that I see. Okay, we're picking up on someone's energy here. If it's not yours, you can click off. You can book a personal reading if you want, if you want your personal energy. But what I'm seeing, if this reading is resonating with you, in the next few weeks, I don't see a whole lot happening here. I see an ending. If there already has been an ending, I see that it's going to continue to be that way. Um, I don't see a whole lot of movement here. Okay, um, there could eventually be a new beginning. So I do see the Ace of Fire. So eventually there might be a new spark here. But I do feel like there's going to be a period of time where there's a lull or there's an ending or there's not much happening. But there's a potential for this to spark. So I feel like this is Spirit's way of saying it's not like it's completely over. There will be a fresh start at some point. Um, but it's like you're having to face the ending first. You're having to deal with the ending first before there's a new beginning. Okay, and let's take a look at your Divine Masculine's um, messages for you. Okay, so let's see. So what are their messages for you? What are your Divine Masculine's messages? Yeah, I know. Someone commented the other day and they're like, I'm so tired of seeing this. And I, guys, I'm just the reader, okay? I'm really sorry that this is coming out. Like, this is not necessarily... Um, the type of readings that I like to do for you guys, but obviously we're getting the same message over and over and over again, right? So there's a reason why it's coming out. And like I said, for those of you who have been dealing with someone who has been very non-committal with you and you've been feeling powerless to this, keep in mind that there is a lesson in this for you. So you guys got to figure out what that lesson is. Um, and you got to figure out how to maneuver this and sort of learn from this experience. But there's a reason why you're getting this mirror of non-committal energy from your divine masculine, okay? So there, again, we get this message, I'm not ready for commitment, which is what we're already seeing. Yeah, because this is too scary for them right now. I'm so scared of change. So for a lot of you guys, it's not really about you. It's just that's something that they're not ready for, okay? We have, I've got a tarot reading on you. So your divine masculine is also getting readings on you. And then we have here some insecurity. So what if you don't accept me for who I really am? Okay, so that's also a fear that they have. But yeah, so I'm sorry guys that we don't have a better message coming through. It seems to be kind of, um, I don't want to say a continuation from the last one, but I think the last reading might be kind of similar. Uh, or there was one reading I did where there was like this non-committal energy, which I know is probably not what you want to hear, but keep in mind there's a lesson here, okay? Um, so anyways, that's what I have for you guys. If you want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box, as well as... Um, I have a self-love course, a twin flame course, and guided meditations, okay? But I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journey. Take care.